a brand new Ram 3500 Mega Cab Tow Pig. Essentially brand new, pristine, obviously on the outside here. And you guys can win this truck plus $10,000 cash. Of course, the typical in-chain designs finishing touches on this vehicle. What's even crazier though, is this is the least amount of entries that we've ever had for a giveaway. So your chances to win are that much better. This truck is gonna last you for the good portion of your life. I mean, it is built to last. These 3500 Duallys are meant to work and work and work. But before I can hand you the keys to this, you have to get entered. And all you have to do is buy one of my products here. We have some posters, obviously some stickers here, Binford tools, one of my favorites here in Lost May Occur. The Secure by Air 15 sticker actually fits perfectly over the ADT sign. A bag of chips, the best barbecue chips you're ever gonna have. We only have select food products on the website and it's because we made sure that the food products that we're gonna put on the site are gonna be the best that we possibly offer. So Ruga's Hot Sauce here, one of my favorites. The Secure by Air 15 mug here now matching the shirt. So you can get the t-shirt here, Secure by Air 15. I have a Secure by Air 15, obviously in hoodie here. And the quality, the warmth, it's amazing. The Bakery AK, the Let's Go brand. We have a bunch of other shirts here, Death Before Dishonor, the Mona Labe, and of course, showing our support, not just for the United States, but also Canada. So if you wanna help support the Canadian truck driver, show your support here by the Mandate Freedom shirt. And of course, the classic AR on the front. This is a new one, it's selling out fast. We have all sizes currently, but I can guarantee you in the next two days after this video post, those are gonna be gone. Any one of these products in the link down below, the very first link in the description enters you to win this Ram 3500 and there's not a better time to do it because this is the biggest multiplier that we're gonna have for the rest of this giveaway. Times five entries. I wanna hand one of my subscribers the keys and I'll be making sure this 10K is sitting right in the cup holder for you. Very nice, Mia, very nice. I got some insane content coming for you guys here, but I need to get rid of my Ford F-150 here. It runs just fine. Uh, obviously, it's a complete piece of crap, but it runs. It's gonna get you to, from point A to point B. Only big problem is I do not have the title, 500 bucks. However you can get in contact with me to buy this, uh, 500 bucks cash, it's yours. Four wheel drive works as far as I know. Uh, other than that, I think it has like 200,000 miles on it. It's a piece of shit but it drives. I just need the cash for uh, something we got cooking up on the channel here. A lot of people have been asking me and taking interest in my old retro video game collection. I'm gonna show you real quick here in about 30 seconds how I was able to accumulate such a massive collection essentially for free. So first, I get a little bit of money. A lot of people hit me up and ask me uh, if I wanna buy their video games, so I'll take that money. We set up a meeting spot, I get my truck, we head out there. Once I pick up the video games, I head home, and uh, yeah, this is what you can get for $100 sometimes. For $100, I was able to get the Atari 5200 console, this home console, pretty crazy. A complete NES console, a bunch of worthless 5200 games, Super Mario RPG, Super Metroid, Gargoyles Quest 2, Harvest Moon 64, Pikmin 2, and Paper Mario for the GameCube. And a bunch more miscellaneous junk. This is what I used to do before YouTube as a hobby. I would just collect old video games uh, and I was able to flip it for a profit and keep what I didn't have. So new games that I pick up get stuck on the shelf and games that I already have get sold on eBay. Somehow after seven years, this is the collection I was able to amass. Uh, this is about 50% of it. The rest is in the attic just because our home currently is way too small to display everything. Yeah, definitely wanted to showcase that because a lot of people are taking interest in that thing. So that's pretty cool. Just a little side hustle of mine, but let's get back to the car content. Gorgeous yet a little snowy day out today. Got the tow pig here of course filling up with diesel fuel and a trailer behind because we're headed out to get well something pretty special. Something I've wanted to do for a long time so we're gonna see how this goes. Of course the weather is miserable. We got snow coming down. Uh, it was way worse back there up in the mountains. You couldn't see anything uh, but it's super foggy. Uh, but man this Dodge is insane. How about it, babe? Yeah, it's really it's nice. Extremely comfortable. Yeah, this thing is amazing. So, on our way up to New York and uh, gonna pick up the surprise SUV. I cannot freaking wait. It's gonna be awesome. The destination is on your right. 30 road. Arrived. Well, no sign of a car here, so, uh. Uh oh. One hour later. We're out in the middle of nowhere, at least for me, that is, where, uh, no service. This is the car. SUV, whatever you want to call it. Kia Sportage, this is a 99. 99. Yeah. We got to air down here for better traction. <laughs> so uh, the problem that we're running into, uh, this is AJ, right? Yeah. Bobby. Bobby. Nice to meet you, uh, is we can't get it up the hill here. Now I do have the Dodge, but man, I don't know. I, it's not my truck. It'd be tough to bring it down here and jeopardize that thing to uh, possibly get that thing stuck. So you have you have toe straps? I got chains. Chains, all right. All right, we got the Tacoma now with a plow on it. And the Kia Sportage. Yeah, you're good.
mean, you think the key would at least want to spin its tires. I feel helpless. I feel like I need to have my truck. Got the Tacoma up there. Something's not right. That Kia is not spinning the tires at all. You think that the tires would be going nuts, but it's like uh, it's like it's in neutral. Yeah, but tell them to get it full speed. She's on the road. Does she run good? She's all right. Yeah. yeah. Well, just that you have to fix this stupid proportion in the valve because it sticks and I got nothing. No paddle, nothing. You see. I could switch in any gear, got nothing. Yeah. I got I lost power. That's why I can't help to go up. It sucks. You guys brought in the cavalry though. You think this thing will make it up? Alright. The monster truck. Holy sh <laughs> There he goes. Come on, baby. You gotta get out. If this can't get out, we're f Go, 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 go. Thing's got those super swampers on it. Come on. Oh my god, he's gonna freaking make it. I can get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! Uh, nice guys. I think they're Russian. I thought I may have been kidnapped, possibly. <laughs> no, AJ's a good guy. But, uh, oh my god. Yeah, the vehicle doesn't freaking run. That sucks. Well, it runs, but it doesn't move. Damn. See, now I gotta like put work into it. Like, this is supposed to just be a quick and easy challenge. Ed, Ed uh -huh. I got Ed the taxi driver here for me. Yep. And the recovery vehicle out front here. Those tires are wicked. Mud terrain. I mean, this thing's nice in here, nice and clean. Beautiful. My girl might want this. Uh oh. <laughs> you never know. We made it the whole way to the trailer. Sport still doesn't work. And recovery vehicle's down. <laughs> here we go. Pushing it on. Yeah, keep going. That's good, that's good. You stay on the brakes and he backs up, we can take the ramps out and then he could get closer to the trailer without stepping on the ramps. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Five hours later. All right, made it to my dad's house here. Got the tow rig all set up. Beautiful trip. Well, hard trip actually. It was snowing the entire time. Traffic was miserable, but I'm telling you that Ram is something else. I was not a believer in Ram pickup trucks, but holy smokes. I don't even like dualies either. That thing is, I know it's made to tow, but holy smokes. It was like the most comfortable, luxurious ride of my life, even with the weather conditions. Uh, you didn't even feel this car back here. I kept having to check the mirrors like, is this thing still here? Cause you didn't feel it. We go over big potholes, you wouldn't feel a thing. Day two Kia Sportage here after a little bit of maintenance, tires rotated, to put the better uh, tread ones up front, obviously, because you have the weight up here with the engine, so four-wheel drive's gonna be better, and the tire that was going flat, we now have on, on, the, uh, on the trunk here. So the only uh, issues that we have, and I say only very lightly because uh, they're pretty severe issues as far as I can tell. So if we ever wanna take this thing out on the road, we have, road, we have a severe idler arm shift. I mean, that is one of the worst I've ever seen. I've seen something like this before, that is, Super crazy. That's coming in and out and out of the uh, there's like a little control arm down here that it pops out of. It's all rusted up. I mean everything's Look, rusted. It's almost gone, isn't it? Yep. Uh, you would never gone. be able to get that off. You'd break the nut. Yeah. Priority is broken. Sway bar mounts. So look at that. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to trailer this. There's a lot of grease down here too. So probably oil leaking and then dirt just sticking to it. Exhaust fell apart here. Yeah, these are throwaway vehicles. Um, oh my gosh, I don't think I've ever seen a vehicle rusted this bad before. Well, my 2500 I had was pretty bad. Yeah, look at the rocker panels. Drive shaft is bad, and it looks like someone attempted to spray paint it a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> All right, well, for a thousand bucks, I can't complain too much.
definitely sounds like something's missing there. <laughs> it's like, it is so reminiscent of uh, just a foreign country movie where they're out in like Africa and that's just the, the jalopy, the, the technical. The clutch is just weird. Uh, my first experience, like you're letting that you have the pedal the whole way down to the floor and it's not until like the last, I'm not kidding you, half inch of like a foot long span it feels like of going up and down on the clutch where it actually, uh, it actually grabs and engages. And then the brakes sitting for so long, um, barely had any of those, but now they're pumped up and primed. Just <laughs> the, the little jalopy. Oh, there we go, some off-road action. Oh yeah, I think it'd do just fine. I, I don't think I'm comfortable taking that, uh, taking it home without using the trailer. But dude, look at that, that thing is eating it up on bald tires and everything. I wonder if there's lights in the front work. That'd be great. <laughs> At our humble abode here, the land. Mike's vehicle is right over that ridge. I don't even want to take a peek. It's across uh, the tree line there. His, God only knows what stupid SUV he got. Not gonna be nearly as good as mine, of course. Uh, I cannot wait for this thing to kick Mike and Steve's vehicle's ass. It's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna offload it here and hide it behind uh, one of these trees here so he can't see it. This ought to be good. So the SUV challenge, the cheap two-door 90s SUV challenge, I have no idea what Steve and Mike got. I already informed them not to watch this video, so that content's gonna be coming out on Street Speed's channel here in just a couple of days. Make sure you follow him at Street Speed 717 on YouTube. Obviously, a lot of you guys already know about him, but this is a huge series that we've been trying to put on now for years. This is just such a dream come true to be able to do this, uh, and we all have vehicles locked down now, so this is gonna work out great. The ZR2 is getting re-wrapped. Uh, we ran into some issues here in the neighborhood. Obviously, everyone knows what's going on with neighbor Karen. Uh, things are a little out of control, so gonna be going for a de-wrap and then re-wrap. So let me know what you guys want down in the comments. That's the only thing I want you guys to comment. If you made it this far in the video, give me a color idea or design idea that you guys wanna see on the Colorado ZR2. The Chevy 3500 giveaway, probably my favorite vehicle to be given away so far i'm not kidding you this vehicle is I, I say that a lot about certain ones this one's incredible after using it and actually using it for what it's meant for and it doesn't hesitate this thing could tow for a million miles easy not one hiccup so very impressed with that machine so if you guys want to win that down in the description very first link in chaindesigns.com on my tab we have some new air 15 mugs and a couple other things that i showcased earlier in the video uh yeah those things are fire so make sure you get on that get a ton of entries times five entries right now so the biggest entry multiplier that we're ever going to have for this whole giveaway follow me on instagram rf racing 717 if you haven't already i'm so close to 16,000 subscribers going to be following back a few who follow me uh in that time frame so whoever my 16,000 follower is i'll make sure to follow you and a couple others as well i have some great content planned for the kia sportage outside of the little challenge we have going here so that's not just like a dead end build we're going to be doing a lot of stuff with that i promise it's just such a cool little car thank you guys so much for watching look forward to seeing you next video